So at Wildlife Haven, we're not only an education center, we're also a rehabilitation center. So we care for sick, injured, and orphaned native Manitoba wildlife. At Wildlife Haven, on the education side, we work with mainly raptors, reptiles, and amphibians. And then on the hospital side, we work with all sorts of native Manitoba wildlife. There's only five species in Manitoba that we're not able to care for. And those are moose, deer, wolves, bears, and then skunks. Ash is a really cool bird. She is a great, great owl, so she is Manitoba's provincial bird. And owls are just incredible animals. Um, so many adaptations that allow them to survive really well in the wild and be excellent hunters. One thing you can notice about her species is their hearing is actually very, very good, probably one of the best of the owl species. You can notice on her face, she has what we call a facial disc, which is just that circular formation of her feathers there that acts as a satellite, so it kind of absorbs the sound that comes into her face and then orients it towards her ears, which just amplifies her hearing. Ash is also such a interesting bird to work with. She's so curious. Uh, she loves humans. She's imprinted on people, and she was raised basically from when she was just a baby with humans. So she's actually scared of other birds because she doesn't identify herself with other birds. She doesn't really know that she is an owl. So she tends to just think of them as something that's completely unknown and scary, whereas she absolutely loves people. So she's exactly the opposite of what you would want to find in a wild owl. <laughs> So something really interesting about Bruce here, um, he's called a hognose snake and we actually do have them here in Manitoba. Now there, people are often when they see him, they're pretty scared of him because he's actually meant to mimic a rattlesnake. So the look of him as well as his tail, um, they can actually rattle it to make the same sound as a rattlesnake. So they're meant to mimic, you know, this really dangerous snake, whereas they're a very gentle, docile, easygoing snake. We got him over 10 years ago now and he came to us as an adult so we don't really know how old he is. We're assuming he's pretty old at this point and we actually did find that he had cancer. There was a tumor about three quarters of the way down his body. We weren't sure if he was going to survive it but we actually did a surgery and were able to completely remove the tumor and as we know of right now he is cancer free. So it's pretty interesting that uh, we're able to have a snake in our care that had cancer and now is kind of in remission. Through our education program and with our ambassadors, we're able to bring people closer to wildlife, give them the opportunity to see how amazing these animals are. We find that when people are able to see them so up close, they're able to form a connection with them and then they feel a sense that they should care for them and they should care about their existence in the wild and their conservation in the wild. So our education program offers a couple of different things. We do on-site presentations and field trips where classes or any groups really can come here, they can learn about wildlife and then we also have some STEM related field trips that we offer. So. We have activities that are all based on the environment, nature, wildlife, conservation, and then we always bring out a few of our ambassadors as well to kind of tie in the wildlife haven aspect of it. We also do go out in the community with our ambassadors, so we offer presentations for schools and daycares, uh, senior living centers, pretty much anywhere that will, that will invite us into their doors. If you're interested in booking a Wildlife Haven presentation, you can contact me directly. My name is Amy and my email is education at wildlifehaven.ca. You can also reach me by phone, which is 204-878-3740.